What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. Hope everybody's off to a great day. Just another beautiful day here in Daytona Beach, Florida. It's like um, 71 degrees. And um, yeah, man, it's just uh, an amazing day, an amazing time to be alive. I know a lot of people, man, don't think that way. But I, I am thriving. I am thriving off of these times. I was meant for these times. I've been waiting for these time. I've been waiting for this moment, these moments. I've been preparing. And this is what we need to do each day. We need to prepare ourselves. A lot of people, man... <clears throat> And I'm noticing it more and more with these 30-year-old and under. Well, I'll use that because, I mean, there's some bitch-ass baby boys that are in their 40s and 50s. But what I noticed a lot, especially lately, with the soy boy men with titties and fat-ass guts with no self-control, they lack the wisdom they lack the ability to think for themselves. You know, it's it's just part of the way we are as humans. You know, when we're fearful, we can't think correctly. We can't think for ourselves. And what a lot of people end up doing is they end up running to someone else to take care of themselves. Especially these young baby boy men. I don't even want to call them men because they're masquerading as men. They play this victimhood. They're the type of guy that you'll say, hey man, how's it going? They'll go, oh, I'm surviving or I'm here. Boo hoo, fucking me. I'm here. This victim mentality that these bitch ass boys keep portraying this false narrative that they want everybody else to feel sorry for themselves. And it's it's so sickening to me to see all these weak boys, can't even say men. You know, gone are the days of the generations of men that get up each day, do things that they don't wanna do and they don't complain about it. Those men are very, far, few and far between, man. You know, there's um, such a gap in society now with what true strength is. I'm not talking about physical strength. I'm not talking about, you know, being jacked because I know people will twist that narrative away. They'll twist it around. You know, we live in this society where we have to have fat pride now. Come on, fat pride. I mean, listen, if you're a fat motherfucker that cannot have any self-control, what the fuck is having pride in that? How can you have pride in being a fat, titty, fat gut man? What are you taking pride in? You taking pride in this narrative that we should feel sorry for you? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Men need to start being men. They need to realize that we are in a time now where life needs to be hard. When life is hard, that's when the true lessons are learned, man. You know, lessons aren't learned when things are easy, when you have an easy road, when you sit around and you sit around and you look for things that are pleasurable. And the men that look for that are not real men. They're not men. And they get bored and then they indulge in overeating, not exercising, playing video games, watching Netflix, whatever your vice is that's taking you away from being your best self. You keep living this life of regret every day and then you boo-hoo, 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 and you wonder why you 
can't get out of your own way, you know? We are our own worst enemies. We are our own worst enemy. I have this screensaver on my phone. It says me versus me. And that is so true. It's always me versus me. It's not me versus anybody else. I don't give a fuck what anybody else is doing. You want to be training hard. You want to push yourself, whatever the fuck it is. I I'm pushing myself because I know who my opponent is. It's me. I have to live with myself. When I don't do the things I say I don't do, when I don't work out or I don't keep to my diet or I don't do the things I say I'm going to do each day, I have to live with this fucking mindset, this fucking savage self-talk telling me, why are you such a bitch? Why do you even say you're going to do shit when you can't amount to anything? Yes, that's how I talk to myself. I tell myself to get the fuck up every morning when the alarm goes off at 3 a.m. And I say, get up, bitch. It's time to fucking grind. While everybody else battles at, oh, it's so comfortable in here. It's so warm. I need a day off. And you see those motherfuckers when they take those days off how low their frequency is, how's that day off working for you? How is not pushing yourself to be the best version of yourself today? You know? Be the man that sets the example through your actions daily, which is a strong program. Get up early. Do the things you say you're gonna do for the day. Do some intense exercise soon as you get up. Raise your frequency. Earn that PMA, that positive mental attitude. Stick to your macros. Don't overeat. Stick to your plan. Don't fall victim of your selfish desires each day so that you'll live this life of regret and you'll always run to your vices instead of running to the answers, which is to put in that work and invest in self. And I'm not talking about telling yourself that you love you. Oh, I love you. You're, you're so good. Oh, yes. You're a beautiful person. Fuck that pussy ass baby boy fucking soy boy self-talk. Bitch, bitch, bitch. That's what it is. Be the man that calls himself out each day when you're not doing the right thing. Be the man that says, I need to level up. I need to be the example. I have people watching me. I have a family. I have children. I need to set the example. And as a man, we need to be responsible and be leaders so that our family, our kids, our wives, our people, whoever we come in contact each day, we can be that example and get after it each day and bring our best self to the game of life, man. That's where I'm at today is always bringing your best self to this game of life. And that's what we need to do each day, man. And that is done through our actions. So hope everybody has a great day. Hope everybody kills it. Hope everybody is grinding and all the men out there be responsible and put in that work and don't complain because the man that works hard and doesn't complain is the man that truly builds true strength.